Okay, what happens right after you die and what happens right before you die? That's a good question. Um, well, uh, I know the com common consensus is when you die, you see the light at the end of the tunnel and you head for the light and then you re-examine your life. Um, yeah, I agree with that. You die and you re-examine your life. You look at your whole life. You can see it all in one picture. This huge, great expanse of consciousness not limited by the limited firings of your mortal brain. Um, you know, in a timeless environment. Um, and then seeing all the bad things you did and feeling those and living with those, you know. And that's how I think negative karma tra travels to the next life as you, you absorb that and you, you know, so that you can... Um, you can know never to do it again ever and that's the best way to do it um, you know learn that lesson is by absorbing that and feeling it so yeah they say like you feel the pain that you give to every that the pain that they you give to everybody you feel them receiving it from you and I believe that um, because everybody uh, is one so then if you feel you know if I pinch my arm if I bite my finger and I feel the pain then it's kind of the same thing hurting somebody else and feeling the pain you give them, but also as far as, to, you know, to like learn not to do it again. Um, and then all the joy and all that, you know, everything. And then, you know, so to experience the fulfillment you got from this life, so you don't have to do it in the next life, you know, like maybe in this life, I don't have a desire to, uh, um, be a, um, dentist because I was a dentist in my, in another life or something like that. So, yeah, so I think you do that, and then you move on. Um, now, they say sometimes maybe when you die, you don't realize you're dead. Um, I think it was kind of, I think it would be similar like that. Sometimes, you know, when you're a dream, you don't realize you're dreaming, kind of like that. But if you're an adept dreamer and you're smart, you know, and you're with it, then you do realize you're dreaming. And I think that's the same thing when you die. You're smart, and, you know, when you die, you realize you're dead. Um so maybe there's like a certain level that you have to step out of. Um, and I do say like Buddhists, you know, for three days you're attached to your body. But after that three days you can move on. So then I think once, once you move on, you go up and and you get to uh, basically live a dream, but a lot more lucid than the dreams we have now. I think maybe the dreams we have now, since we're still connected to our bodies, we're still in our brains and it's still limited. But when you're dead, you're, you're freer and you have this great dream and you can do this and that and the next thing. So why do we come back to live again? What draws us back to life again? I think that's a big and uh, popular question people ask. Why do we come to this crazy world when we could just be in heaven the whole time? You know, when you die and go to heaven, why would you want to come back to hell, earth? Well, there must be an incentive. And with the incentive, I think, out there is... Um, you know, like, you don't want to go camping... I mean, camping is is, is, is is not something you'd want to be do forever for the rest of your life. You know, you get bitten by mosquitoes, you sleep on a hard uh, ground, uh, you, you're going to be cold, itchy, you know, dirty, not, not, not showering and this kind of thing. But yet you go anyway for the excitement. So I think maybe people are born on, again for the excitement and the challenge of trying to see if they can accomplish... Um, stuff um and um you know and because once they die and they look here and they go well i can't believe i didn't enjoy doing that because they had a limited consciousness and they, th and they thought that when they they thought that you know when they died they'd never be able to live again and so they tried to they, they became sad when they couldn't uh accomplish something because they were kind of like uh wanting it all now like a little baby oh give me my candy now 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 and they uh so maybe they wanted to do it right again, you know. It's kind of like every time you go to the gym, you work out, and then you come home and you go, oh, man, why did I leave after a half hour? God damn it. Well, I'm going to go back tomorrow for at least an hour. You know, why did, I only, why did I stop at three reps? I should have done seven. You know, it's kind of like that. They're like, oh, man, give me another chance. Give me another chance. I'm going to do this. Um, and uh, maybe that's why we come down here. So... So, but then some might say, well, why don't, why aren't you reincarnated in, in a more utopian world? Um, you know, why aren't you reincarnated like on an alien world, on a spaceship where you get to fly all over the galaxy? That sounds a whole lot more fun than being poverty stricken in a third, in a, in a third world city. Well, 
maybe you can't be reincarnated like there's some kind of like glass ceiling there's a energy blockage and you have to you're just not pure enough and you're not knowledgeable enough and if you were to if you were to be born there you just wouldn't uh you maybe you would be be bored living in that life because it would just be um there's nothing you could learn from it and 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 at the end of the day, maybe the whole meaning of life is learning, and it's the most appropriate for you to learn in the uh, in the uh, in some in, in a lowly existence. Um, like souls that inhabit animals. Um, <clears throat> this 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 conversation kind of goes into uh, the question of uh, evolution versus intelligent design. Um, and evolutionists would say, well, sharks evolve and different animals evolve because of survival of the fittest and they're just random mutations and sometimes happenstance that random mutation happens to suit the new environment and so those ones, those ones thrive. And I believe that. But, but the question is, where do the random mutations are coming from? Are they truly random? And I would say, I would say no. I would say spirits on the other side you know sharks they're looking at they're looking at that form of the fish and, the, and the, that's just appropriate for them to be in they they're drawn towards that like you can't see anything above you like maybe when you're in the spirit world and you're flying around you know of the existence of like heaven the higher heavens and the and the uh, spaceships and everything but you but you can't actually see it you can only see like the phasey hazy outline of it but you can't actually see it because you're not at that level um, and a good example of that is like Bashar, the alien says, says that they don't really even know what's beyond them. They're still learning. Yet when they die, they're still in, they're still in contact with the person who dies. So even after an alien dies and the alien's dead flying around, that alien, when he's dead, can communicate with his friends who are still alive. But that alien who's dead cannot communicate with the higher realms, cannot see it. Kind of like we we can't see ghosts, but ghosts can see us. Um, fish can't see us, but we can see fish. Um, that kind of a thing. So um, that's why I think people are reincarnated into whatever is appropriate for them and whatever is best best for them. Um, and so in that vein, whatever life you're living is best for you. So don't feel guilty or um, like you're out of place anywhere because wherever you are that's where you're that's where you are and that's where you're supposed to be now as far as what you're going to do before you're born what's it life before you're born i think it's similar to after you die after you die you look at your life and you peruse it well i think before you're born you're looking down and you're going okay i'm going to and i think it's you know i think your consciousness of it you go okay i'm going to live there and that person, I choose those people, that lady. Because that lady has got, and I think they're actually looking at it. That lady is married to that guy. They do this. They live here. I like where they're living. You know, got nice mountains nearby. Got a nice ocean. Okay, cool. I'm going there. So they go. And then, and then they, and then I think they, they sit there and they think, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. And maybe they even can see the genetics of the people and how it helps the genetics of the people help out. Um, whatever they want to do in their life and so they go in there and they choose it and then they even and then they even choose when they're born before they're even conceived they choose when they're going to be born um, and then also maybe to a certain extent a part of them chooses when they're going to be born after when they're in the womb but um, so they have all these dreams of what they want to play out what they're exactly want to do their whole life just like when you go to college you go you plot out your whole life and you choose this major and you go to that class and you know you get this part-time job to all all fit in and, and, and plot out your life in the future and I think it's similar to like like to, to that when you're when you're before you're born. Um, um and yeah, so I think you're sitting around actually thinking about it. And I actually, you know, do have recollection or dreams or feelings of, of the whole feeling of of, of, of of sitting outside and being, okay, I'm, I'm going to delve into this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do this. Um, I think it's really conscious. I think it's a lot more conscious creation than uh, 
than people give credit for. And I think people are chosen when they're born also because that helps you be who you are. Like you choose the genetics of these people because that's going to help you be what you want to be. And also when you're born, the energy of the universe when you're born helps you be who you are. But anyway, that's what I think about that.